If you're afraid of the dark, could you hop in a plane and chase the sunset? How poetic. Avoiding nighttime forever? Maybe not forever, but you could just fly around the Arctic Circle during the summer. Well, you would need a plane that could fly west faster than the Earth spins. And it would have to stay at supersonic speed for days. Only if you do it near the equator. You don't have to go that fast if you're near the Arctic Circle. Without stopping, meaning you would need another plane to refuel yours mid-air. Achievable, but very expensive to sustain, especially if you're going at the equator. It's not the most efficient use of resources here. Now, nuclear's the king for going a long time without refueling. Nuclear submarines last decades, but Nuclear aircraft never really got off the ground. Radiation shielding, heat rejection, and safety concerns stops nuclear-powered airplanes. Oh, and the aircraft would need to mostly run on autopilot so you could sleep and take breaks. Sleep in the sunlight. Or you could just have other crew members who said you had to do this by yourself. But if you don't have a plane, you could just get a flight to the North Pole. Oh, here we go. You see, for six months, the sun doesn't set in Earth's poles. It just circles the horizon non stop. But you're not going to get a direct flight there. Those are pretty rare. And you'll still get some levels of twilight, so not sure how afraid of the dark you are. And when it finally starts to get dark halfway through the year, just hop on a flight to the South Pole, where the sun is just rising for another six months. No direct flight, but sure, you can get there eventually. If you actually tried to do this, though, this would make an interesting business case for a nuclear-powered plane, reviving that project.